As if you don't already have enough to worry about, trying to find a steady stream of PA gigs and start moving up to the position you really want, you also have to watch out for fake jobs that are just intended to scam you. Mark, our Director of Student Success, noticed that several of our students have been targeted by a common production scam. Fortunately, none of our students fell for it, but they easily could have. It's a scam that's been around forever, and people who've been in the industry for a few years already know all about it. Unfortunately, that's why it tends to target PAs, because PAs are new and it's more likely they've never heard of it. So I'm gonna tell you all about the scam and how to spot it from a mile away so you can just avoid it. But by definition, scams are tricky, so there might be variations or loopholes that I don't know about. Treat this as good information, but you still need to stay vigilant and protect yourself from scams. One important side note is that in a previous module, we recommended some things you can do to protect your bank account when a production wants to get your ACH info to pay you by direct deposit. That's all good and important info, but it won't protect you from this scam. Okay, so here's how it works. A production company, usually an out of town company, maybe one you've never heard of, calls you up or emails you or contacts you over text and they offer you a gig. At some point, they say they wanna send you some money in advance. Sometimes it's to rent gear, maybe pay some talent or pay some other agency, maybe even do some traveling and some location scouting, or maybe they just wanna pay you in advance. This is all weird. It's not the way it's typically done. But there are some important exceptions. For example, if you're working with craft services, you might be expected to make some purchases before the first day of shooting. And they're gonna transfer a relatively small amount of money to you so you can do that. Okay, for this example, let's just keep the math easy. Say you have $100 in your bank account. That's already kind of bad news, but then production sends you a check for $1,000. The first important point is the check is fake. Also, this could be worked through a direct deposit and the mechanism is a little bit different, but the scam basically works the same. And there are variations on this that can hit Venmo or PayPal. I don't know of any payment portal that is completely immune to scams. The best thing you can do is just stay informed. Check out the scams folder in the PowerPA Resource Center for updates and articles about various scams as we find them. So anyway, you don't know that the check is fake, so you deposit it. Your bank doesn't know it's fake, so they're gonna credit your account for some or maybe even all of the amount of the check before they've officially cleared it. So now, instead of just $100 in your account, you've got $1,100, $1,100. But remember, that $1,000 is all money that the bank fronted you, assuming that the check is good. Next, the supposed production company asks you to pay $500 to some supposed agency, and you get to keep the rest as your payment for the job. The agency is actually a front for the scammer, so the money goes to them. But that's just the first step in the scam. There's still two more possible steps. Next, the production's gonna contact you and they're gonna say, oh shucks, the production got canceled or maybe pushed to a future date. Would you please send us back the rest of the money? Well, being a decent human being as you are, you agree and you send them back the money. Then the bank figures out that the check is fake and they take back the money they fronted you, but the money's gone. So not only do you lose your $100, your account's now overdrawn by $900. Personally, I couldn't believe this is real. It just seems nutty that the banking system would even allow this. So I called up my bank and I asked them a bunch of questions about it and they confirmed that, yep, it absolutely can happen exactly like this. How are we gonna spot this scam when it's coming our way? There are a bunch of things to look for. Advanced payment, that's weird, it's a red flag. Asking a PA to rent or buy things 
in advance is very unusual, red flag. Asking a PA to do things that are way above their level, like location scouting, that's extremely unusual. So that's a red flag. And if they're rushing you, it could be a red flag. Because remember, they've got a limited window that they can do this scam before the bank figures out that the money's fake. But productions are often legitimately in a rush. So let's call that a yellow flag. If the job is way too good to be true, like the rate is super high, that is a red flag. Let's also look at how they contacted you. If it's by email, is the domain name of the email a production company? If it is, Google it. Look at their Facebook, their IMDB, their LinkedIn, and their actual website. Do they seem real? If it's a Gmail address, they might put a legitimate production company's name before the at sign, but that means nothing. It doesn't prove that they're actually associated with that company in any way. So Google the production company and give them a call. See if they know what's going on, if this is legit. By the way, use the phone number you get from the website, not anything that's in the email. Also look for all the usual hallmarks of a scam. Weird font usage, bad grammar, way too much information, just a weird communication style, anything that seems off. Now here's a gem. If they tell you, don't deposit the check at a branch, take it to an ATM instead. That's because it's more likely that a branch is gonna recognize the check for fake. That's a scam. And believe it or not, it's actually happened. What are you gonna do if you get contacted by what you believe is probably a scam? First thing is, I do not recommend going around making a bunch of accusations. There might be legitimate reasons why the production has asked you to do something that's a little unusual. Maybe you can ask them and get a little bit more information. Also, you can always email your instructors at shout at thepowerpacourse.com. And I also recommend posting up in the mentorship group because your fellow Power PAs may have advice or they might have been contacted by that scam themselves and you might help someone else avoid getting scammed. So do what you can to gather some information, but at the end of the day, you gotta trust your gut. And I know from personal experience that when you're hungry for work, it's hard to walk away from a potential job. But if you see so many red flags, then you probably know that it's not really a job, it's just an opportunity to have somebody drain your bank account. Okay, but what if you've already accepted the job? and you've received a check. Maybe the funds have even been deposited in your account and now you're starting to get suspicious. It may not be too late to put things in reverse and avoid getting burned by the scam. Before you do anything with the money, go to your bank. Every bank has a financial crimes division and they can tell you what to do. Also, please send us an email and let us know what happened. Describe the situation so we can learn more and we can keep spreading the word. The bottom line is, with very rare, unusual exceptions, productions don't pay in advance and they don't send PAs a pile of money to go buy or rent things for them. It's just not the way it's done. So if a production company says they wanna do that, it's almost definitely a scam, but one that you can easily sidestep. And you can share this video anywhere you want. You can use it in classrooms, share it in other groups, with your colleagues, with your friends, anything you want. The more people who know about the scams and how they work, the less effective the scams are.